Welcome everyone. Today, I'm going to take you on a journey to explore one of the most captivating natural wonders of our planet volcanoes. From their formation to their eruption, we'll dive into the details to understand these giants of nature better. Volcanoes are not just mountains that spew fire, they are much more complex than that. Fun fact, there are over 1,500 active volcanoes in the world. To understand how they work, we need to examine their structure in detail. Volcanoes are formed from the accumulation and solidification of magma over time. Interestingly, the composition of magma varies from one volcano to another, and even from one eruption to another. It's like a secret recipe that only the Earth knows. Volcanic eruptions are caused by an accumulation of pressure in the magma reservoir. Sometimes, the pressure can be so high that it causes the volcano to collapse inwardly, creating a massive depression called a caldera. Volcanoes can be found on all tectonic plates on the planet. Some places on Earth have multiple active volcanoes within just a few miles of each other. The Pacific Ring of Fire is one such example, where tectonic plates are particularly active. Volcanoes give us insight into the composition of the Earth. By studying the lava and rocks ejected by volcanoes, scientists can determine their chemical composition, which can tell us a lot about the nature and formation of the Earth. Did you know that some of the oldest rocks on Earth are volcanic rocks? Volcanic eruptions can be dangerous for people and communities nearby. But some people actually risk their lives to get up close and personal with an erupting volcano. These brave souls are called volcano chasers, and they capture some of the most breathtaking footage of these powerful events. Now that we have a general idea of how volcanoes work, let's look at the different types of volcanoes. Shield volcanoes are the largest volcanoes on Earth, with gently sloping sides. Stratovolcanoes, also known as composite volcanoes, are the most explosive and dangerous type of volcano. We also have dome volcanoes, rift volcanoes, and submarine volcanoes, each with its own unique characteristics and peculiarities. Interestingly, the world's largest submarine volcano, TMU Massif, is bigger than the state of California. To understand how a volcanic eruption works, we need to look at the different stages of an eruption. There's pre-eruptive activity, increasing pressure in the magma reservoir, degassing, explosion, and lava emission. Some volcanic eruptions can last for years or even decades. Volcanoes can also have long-term effects on the environment. Some of the most fertile soils on Earth are found on old lava fields. Volcanic ash can travel thousands of miles and affect climate patterns. Shield volcanoes, for example, are the largest volcanoes on Earth and have gentle slopes, while stratovolcanoes have steep slopes and are formed by layers of lava and ash. Rift volcanoes are formed at divergent plate boundaries, where tectonic plates move away from each other, while dome volcanoes have a circular shape and are formed by slow, viscous lava. When it comes to volcanic eruptions, there are different types too. Some eruptions are explosive, others are effusive, and some can even be a mix of both. Explosive eruptions are the most dangerous, as they release a large amount of ash, rocks, and gas into the atmosphere, which can cause widespread destruction. Effusive eruptions, on the other hand, are less explosive and release lava flows that can be dangerous for people and property nearby. The type of eruption depends on several factors, such as the composition of the magma, the gas content, and the viscosity of the lava. Volcanoes are not only fascinating from a scientific perspective, but also offer breathtaking landscapes that attract tourists from around the world. Many countries have national parks where visitors can safely observe volcanoes, hike on lava fields, 
and learn more about these natural wonders. However, it's important to remember that volcanic eruptions can be unpredictable, and people living near active volcanoes must always be prepared for a potential disaster. Scientists use various methods to monitor volcanoes, such as seismic activity, gas emissions, and ground deformation, to predict eruptions and minimize the risks. If you're interested in learning more about volcanoes, there are plenty of resources available online and in books. You can also visit your local science museum or planetarium, where you can find exhibits and interactive displays about volcanoes. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest science news and educational content. We appreciate your support and hope to see you again soon. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the fascinating world of volcanoes. From their structure to their eruptions and their impact on the environment, we've covered a lot of ground. Remember to stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of our planet. See you next time.